Hello people of YouTube, this is CloudVault7 and today I'm reviewing a classic RPG. This one is uh, Breath of Fire 3 and uh, it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite Breath of Fires, if not my favorite. It's right up there with Breath of Fire 4. Uh, yeah, it's a great game and uh, the old games are also pretty good. Anyways, let's get started. I'd like to talk a little bit about the beginning of the story just to give you a little insight and then I'll get into uh, what I thought about gameplay and all that. Okay, yeah, the, in the very beginning you start out as a whelp in a block of ice and you're in this like uh, cave thing with a bunch of miners and the the whelp, uh, which is a dragon, a little form of dragon, goes crazy and kills all these miners and stuff. And then you get found by Rai, or I should say Ray, uh, but you're, you know, you're a human, you're Ryu at the time, and, uh, yeah, you meet him, and you meet Tipo, and, uh, yeah, what's cool is they actually, uh, you start out the game just like you do pretty much in Breath of Fire 2, and, yeah, you know, you start out as a little kid, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's great, you know, you start out like that, and you start out, you meet Rai, and then, uh, later on, you meet Nina. Uh, so yeah, in the beginning it's just some fun stuff, you know, you just a little bit of thievery, a little bit of mischief here and there. And uh, then a little later on in the game, uh, Tipo pretty much vanishes from the group. I'm not going to go into detail of how it happens, but yeah, he's out, he's out of the group. And uh, yeah, and then the, the adventure starts getting really, really freaky. But yeah, uh, the, the game itself, I'd have to say, is great. I mean... I love the fact that you could change into all kinds of different dragons. Uh, which what happens is you get these crystals, and they're called genes, and you just change into all kinds of different dragons. Uh, not to mention if you have like certain party members, like oh I don't know Pico, which uh, you get later in the game. You can actually just by having him in your team. And uh, I believe Nina, if you have Nina in your team, and, and different characters in your team, you could change into. Uh, dragons that actually take on the characteristics of them, which is really interesting too. And uh, yeah, you just get a great uh, bunch of characters. You get Gar. Gar is like one of my favorite all-time characters in the Breath of Fire uh, series. And uh, yeah, it's just all kinds of great stuff going on. A lot of great uh, spells you can cast. And also you get a bunch of skills and uh, you also get like mentors when you're uh, you uh, are, are like an apprentice and then all, you get all these different mentors that teach you a bunch of awesome moves also so that's great you know even though uh, they are a bit hard to get certain ones uh, but yeah it's a great game I beat it and it's yeah I love it uh, but if, if I had any complaints here's my complaints I have a few complaints here um, I have to say, as far as uh, the Kaiser, which is like the awesomest dragon you could change into, it's uh, you can never really stay as the Kaiser, you know, because this game's a bit different than Breath of Fire 4. It's not like all summons, uh, which is kind of a letdown for Breath of Fire 4 on that one, but uh, it makes up for, for it in different ways. But uh, anyways, yeah, you... Uh, you have, you could change into a bunch of different dragons, but you can't change into and stay as the Kaiser. That always bugged me. Uh, you could you could stay as the Behemoth, you know, but you can't stay as the Kaiser, and uh, and that kind of sucked to me because when you're fighting uh when you're fighting like Dragon Lord, in the part where you had to fight Dragon Lord, it would be really nice to use the Kaiser and just stay fighting as the Kaiser. But no, the best you can do is pretty much the Behemoth or any other selection of dragons that you get. And the same thing goes for the goddess or Myria that you fight. Uh, yeah. So that kind of bugs me. I mean, that's always been something that kind of bugged me. And, uh, but other than that, you get a bunch of great dragons to choose from. And you still get to use the Kaiser, but it's just more, it's it's like a Kaiser breath. It's like, a, yeah, it's like a sun. So that, that kind of bugged me. But other than that, I mean, there's so much great things about the game. Um, let me see if there's anything else that bugs me. Um, oh yeah, one more thing bugs me is uh, uh, 
this game is not for, you know, like, average or below average, like, you know, RPG players. This is for people who are, you know, good at puzzles and stuff, because I'd, I'd say the puzzles are quite a bit harder in this game than they are in the in the fourth one. So I'm just letting you know that. If you played the fourth one and stuff, I, I consider the uh, puzzles and stuff harder in this game. Uh, so, yeah, you might even need a manual. Who knows? But anyways, yeah, so that's my only other complaint. It's not really a complaint, but I'm I'm just letting people know. Okay, yeah, so other than that, everything's great in this game. I love the storyline's amazing. The fact that you can tra change into multiple dragons is awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can you say? And, uh, yeah, if you like dragons, I'd say definitely, and you like video games, definitely get this game. It's like... It's it's like the best one out there, and along with just about any of the Breath of Fire games are amazing. So yeah, that's my review on this game, and I'll see you next time.